This is a video on why a conservative would want to become libertarian. And I'm using my own Twitter account so that you can investigate for yourself um, the multitudinous um, material that you can use to, to evaluate the libertarian position right in Twitter. It's really kind of important because in Twitter there's a huge amount of information that comes through every day with links to a whole bunch of articles you will never hear about in the mainstream media. Okay? It's like the mainstream media are just like drooling over Trump and all the things that he's done wrong and all of your alternatives, they just shut off as if it was solely a choice between Republican and Democrat. It's not. And since I'm, you know, leaving the GOP now due to D Donald Trump taking it over, um, I thought maybe I ought to share with you some of the thoughts that went on there, especially since, you know, as a conservative, I, you know, I've always been a GOP person, so what made me switch? Um, first of all, as you can see, this is my profile page, twitter.com brain Audi lists. That's my username. And there's the full username, and there's my Twitter handle. And I make lists instead of, um, following people separately because it's easier for me to navigate. So, for example, here's the libertarian list. Okay, and these are all libertarian, um, you know, people on it so far. There's only a few on it so far. Austin, Bill Weld, and Gary Johnson. There were more candidates, and they were on the list, but they're not candidates now, so they're not on. Austin tends to run the show for the Libertarians, or he's really influential in organizing it, so that's why he's on the list. Gary Johnson is the uh, titular head as the nominee for president. Bill Weld, who I've known of for a long time, is um, his vice president. And just, I really just like Bill Weld. He's, he's, he was a libertarian before it was popular. Okay? Now you can say, well, you know, Brain Out isn't libertarian like the weed party. Not really. That's what a lot of people want it to be. But that's not what the party itself is. You see this thing here? This photograph of part of a heart. I drew this in 1986. It's not copyrighted. If you want the full uh, thing, see my um, outtakes video. If you go to YouTube and just type outtakes and brain outy in YouTube, it's two words, brain outy, then you can find the outtakes video and you can download it or just ask me and I'll give it to you. There's no copyright on it. But these are all, this stuff here, these are all code sections. And then, you know, to, to show how the blood flow through the heart of the bureaucracy of government it gets harder and harder, and that's why you have to have more and more law. Libertarian is totally against that. That's the core of the Libertarian Party, okay, is to be against big government. That's its number one thing. Big people, small government, okay? And as Gary Johnson likes to put it, we are fiscally conservative and socially liberal. Okay, but social liberalism really doesn't work. Except if the government is small. So it's the one nexus where if you're conservative or liberal, you can both agree. Look, you're a conservative, I'm liberal, we have, we're at polar opposites. Okay, fine. Let's not have a government that tells us how to be. That's why a lot of conservatives hate the Democrats, including me. It's because the Democratic Party is really not democratic at all. It's trying to tell you to do this, to do that, to be this, to be that, all in the name of non-discrimination. But it's discriminating when it does that. It wants one size fits all humanity. But then that destroys your humanity. The Democrats are never going to get that. They're never going to figure that out. 
Okay, by the same token, the stupid Republicans, they want one-size-fits-all humanity, too, to find their way by their cockamamie idea of what constitutes Christian. It's not Christian. It violates the Bible. But, hey, if you want to have your own version of Christianity, then the only way to really get it is if government is small. Now, as it stands, the conservatives inside the GOP and the liberals inside the Democrats, what they both agree on is they want big government. But one of them wants it big government their way, and the other one wants big government their way. Okay, if you're a true conservative, you don't want big government at all. What you want are states' rights. Honey, that's what the core of libertarianism is. Just push all the power out of the federal government. Pre they would prefer to have none, but you can't have none. You've got to have de minimis. Push it back to the states and let the states decide themselves what they're going to do. So if you're conservative, and especially if you're pro-life, you want to be libertarian. Because every pro-lifer I've ever heard talk Okay, they want, including Jeb Bush and including Ted Cruz, they want to shift the power back to the states specifically for the purpose of being able to establish their own pro-life laws per state. Now, you all know, if you know and listen to me for a while, that I can't stand the pro-lifers. They're totally anti-biblical. But this is the United States, and we have a lot of different viewpoints. And we make our government based on consensus. So if the state of Texas wanted to pass a law, you know, a, you know, prohibiting abortion, it has that right and I would abide by it. Of course, I'm too old to have kids now, so it doesn't apply to me. But you see the point? It's the right of the state. It's the right of the people to determine what laws they want, whether those laws are right or wrong. That's a conservative's position. That's the libertarian's position. Of course, they want as little law as possible, preferably none. Okay, that's good. It's never going to happen that it's going to be none. You can't have freedom without law. But low as possible. That's good. And if you're pro-life, you want that. So then you want to have your own little state or your own big state have a law against abortion? Because you live in that state and that's what you believe in. Okay. But you put it in the federal government, you get one size fits all. And it'll never happen. So if you're a pro-lifer, you want to be libertarian. Because you want states' rights in order to get those laws that you want on the books. Okay. And then anybody who doesn't like it, well, they can vote with their feet and go to another state with the laws that they like. That's what true liberty is. That's what true freedom is. That's what true conservatism is. And that's why you should be libertarian. I could say more, but if you got questions, just ask me and I'll answer.